Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't follow me or know me, my name is Linda Plara. I'm a dentist, mother of two, accidental influencer, and this is my YouTube channel where I share vlogs and just fun little videos. And this video is a long time coming. It's probably my most requested video, which is a closet tour. So a little backstory, I've lived in my house for 11 years and we've been remodeling the entire house bit by bit, but I wanted to wait to remodel my closet and bathroom at the very end, which we're at the very end. So it's been a process. I wouldn't say it's completely done, but I don't, I mean, this is as good as it's gonna get. And also I wanna document that it's organized and clean because it may never look like this again. So welcome to my closet. I'll give you guys a little tour. So I'm gonna start with the most important part for me. If you follow me, you know me, you know I'm a shoe gal. Like, I love my shoes. I've been collecting for well over a decade. So when I wanted a, to design the closet, like I wanted a big space for all my shoes, for my collection to grow, for me to display them all so I could see them. So this is my shoes, and behind each shoe fits two more pairs of shoes. So I can rotate them and like whichever ones that I'm using or that I want to showcase. Um, I try to organize it by like designer, so I have like my Jimmy Choo's, my Manolo's. These are my favorites. I don't like to play favorite, but if I had to, like it's definitely this. Like, I have my platforms, my loafers, uh, my Dior's, my just kind of fun like random um, designer shoes. I have my boots, my short boots. But like honestly, if you ask me, this is hands down my favorite part of the closet. I have my designer sneakers, Jordans, and behind each shoe, like I said, I have room for other shoes, so I'm gonna rotate the boots depending on the season. But yeah, this is my shoes, my babies. So another thing that I have a ton of, and I realized this when I had to move out of my old closet and back into this, is I have a ton of tweed coats, jackets. Like this is all like my tweed section. So I definitely have a look. Um, I got rid of a good chunk of it because it's like I had three of the same kind of like black tree jacket So also like I'm gonna another little backstory So this was my closet and then the extension was my laundry room and we took the laundry room out because I have one in the basement and it was a good size space and I was really adamant and fitting in the space. My husband was asking me if I wanted to take out like the back patio make a bigger closet but I was like no I really want to downgrade and no, I'm not downgrade, that's not the right word, but um, just really figure out what I'm gonna keep, what I wear the most of, and have just the right amount of space for my lifestyle and my needs. So I think I accomplished that, but just a little side fact. But yeah, I definitely have a lot of tweed. I try to go from light to pink to blue to end up in black. And then the bottom I have here are my skirts and my shorts, which I have a lot of. These are some random boxes down here. Here, don't mind those um, but yeah this is probably the section that I wear the most of and we'll move on to the next so next up I have my party dresses like a lot of these dresses I've worn for birthdays like I wore this for a birthday I wore this one last year for my birthday just really fun dresses that I didn't want to get rid of that maybe I'll want to wear one day or just things that really make me happy. Like I remember I wore this for my birthday in Vegas. So this is just like my party dresses. And then down here I have my trousers, which I also wear a lot of. And the same thing, color coordination from white to pink, red, tan, all the way to black. And um, also these hangers, like I really wanted these hangers. They're not the most practical. This wasn't the smartest decision, but I thought they were like so pretty and chic and like boutique style, but this wasn't the smartest. One, they were expensive. Two, I had to assemble them. Three, they're really thick, so they take up a lot of room. So yeah, that was one mistake that I made. And they also don't hold the clothes very well, but they are pretty. So we'll move on to the next section. So the next section here are my blazers, which I also found I have a ton of. Um, my blazers also white, pink to black. I have my jeans, which I'm not sure if this system I'm gonna keep because I'm not crazy about it. I might end up folding these up and putting them somewhere, but for now, the, and I also got rid of so many jeans. Like I had jeans from like college. 
So I stuck to the ones that I've been wearing the most are my classics, which is this is it, but I think I need to find a better place for these. And then I have some jackets here. Um, like I said, I'm not sure about this section. This might get reorganized, but for now, this is it. I also like that the bottom of this closet is kind of elevated so I can store more shoes or boxes or things I need to store. And next we'll go to my second favorite part of the closet, my handbags. So this is, like I said, my second favorite part of the closet, which is my handbags. I really wanted them to be showcased like boutique style, where I could see them. And then this mirror back here I love because behind it is like hidden storage. So like the purses I'm not using as much, I can hide back there or like luggage or things that I don't want to be displayed. But yeah, I, I do love my handbags. I've been collecting for a very long time. Um, I'll show you some of my favorites later on in a different video, but this is all of them. Um, I guess if I had to just say one favorite really quick, it would be that classic caviar Chanel because it was my graduation gift from my mother and it was like a dream come true. Like I had always wanted a Chanel bag. And then my other favorite is that orange ostrich um, Louis that ever got me for Christmas a couple years ago. I just love it because it's like so unique. There's like no labels on it. It's just, I just love the leather. So I don't like to play favorites, but if I had to, those are definitely my two favorites. So this section is like my random, the most random section in all the closet because it was like my longer dresses with more shorter casual dresses, longer skirts. I'd say this is probably the area of my closet I wear the least which I'm thinking about changing to the other side, but like I said, I'm still playing with it. Also, I have some boots down here that didn't fit where my other shoes were. Also like random boots. Um, but yeah, I would call this section my random section. Also up here, I'm like uh, storing hats and stuff. I'm not sure if this is their permanent home, but like I said, it's we're still a work in progress. So next we'll jump over to my long coats. So next up, I have my coats. I love a good long coat. Um, this pink one right now is like I'm lusting after but I live in the desert and it's not always very cold But I'm gonna wear this or at least shoot it and pretend it was cold But yeah, I have my trenches. I have a lot of faux fur a lot of leopard obviously animal print And then I have more boots down here that didn't fit. So these are like my knee length boots um, There's room for like two pairs in the back. So I like this there's still room to grow my shoe collection Ever doesn't like me to say that, but there's plenty of room. Um, and then we'll hop over to my blouses. Okay, here we have my blouses and my button-ups, which I also found I have a ton of. Also same system, light, pink to dark. And then I got these because I wanted to take advantage of the space. So I got these little like, um, jewelry things. I don't know if this is gonna stay here, but for now it's working and I feel like it doesn't get a lot of dust because the shirts kind of cover it. Also, speaking of dust, that noise you hear, um, my contractor put in this extractor dust thing that's supposed to help like clear out the dust, but I need to change, it's right up there. I need to change the connection so that it's not on when the lights are on so that when I shoot in here, because I plan on filming a lot of content, I say that and I hope it's true. Um, I really wanna get that noise taken out. So next we'll do my tops and then my sunglasses. So this is the last section of the closet which I found I have the least of is like little tops, like little shirts. I obviously don't wear a ton because there's lots of room here. But um, there was a lot of room down here so I decided to put all my sunglasses in these little clear containers and I like it because I can see them all. They're like free from dust and it's easy when I'm picking out outfits. Also, I'm not gonna show you what's inside these drawers because I wish it was like pretty and organized, but it's not. I have big hopes though to organize it, but in here I have like gym clothes, underwear, pajamas, t-shirts, all that stuff. Also, I wanted to take advantage of the space when we were designing the closet, so I have storage all the way up. So those bins, there's two bins behind those and they hold things like belts, scarves, gloves, which I'm having a glove moment, um, hats, hair, cause I like a good fake pony. So yeah, and I have those across all the closet for extra storage and I try to label them, like at least the front one so that I know what's in there to make it easier for me. Oh, ears, like Mickey ears. What else do I have? Um, Biker caps, apparently I have enough of those to build a whole bin, uh, dust bags, all of that. So 
So um, my hope is to stay really organized because I wanted this closet for so long and I hope I can do it. I've even thought about paying Elle like as a chore for her to help me keep it organized because I want it to look like this all year round. So that's one of my New Year's resolutions. We'll see if I can stay organized, but yep, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And later on, I'll do different videos about like my favorite shoes or my favorite handbags. But for now, this was a general tour of my closet. Thank you.